The H96 Max, there are some rumours about this box hence I've been playing and testing it for over a month now and I'm sure you will agree they are only rumours. So what guys, the Yondu Y8 has the same specs as this box and the Yondu Y8 scores a higher benchmark but it is also jam packed with bugs, glitches and many issues. And so what guys, if the Nvidia Shield is a beast, has the best hardware beats all the benchmarks but it also comes with a very hefty price of £200 plus so why not save yourself so much money and hassle and invest in a box which tops performance, quality and contains high-end hardware, scores high benchmarks all for under £100. Do you remember one of the most popular Android TV boxes I reviewed in comparison to the Nvidia Shield? Yes guys, the H96 Pro Plus which blew the socks off most of its competitor boxes both in popularity and performance. Well today, after almost a month of testing and trying, I have for you a box which I feel is the best to date and now tops my list of one of the best and favourite Android TV boxes. The H96 Max ticks all the right boxes for being the king of Android TV boxes in 2017 so far. With some impressive hardware including a 6 core rock chip CPU at 64 bit, dual Wi Fi, 4 GB of RAM, and an unbeatable price, guys, this box exceeds all all the hype the H96 Pro Plus carried and comes even closer and in some aspects beats the Nvidia Shield. Keep watching for why. I will complete a few demos of 4K videos, online streaming, gaming, Wi-Fi and benchmark tests etc. But before I do that guys, check out the specs for this box on the screen in front of you whilst I get the beauty at the packaging. So okay guys, so I've just shared with you the high amazing specs of this box, let's just see what it comes with. So as usual we have this standard remote control, the power adapter, HDMI cable, a user manual and guys check it out, very well packaged, got to be a bit gentle with this, check that. Rock chip 3399. Check it out. With a nice glossy finish in the middle here. So that strip there. Rock chip in silver. And a nice matte finish all the way around. Light in weight. Small and compact. Check out the ports. We have the SD card slot. Back here, so we've got the Ethernet port, the SPDIF port, HDMI port, AV port. So this is where the power adapter goes in. And on this side here, guys, so this is the USB 3 port, standard USB port. And you also have a USB-C port. For that extra fast and speedy data transmission. Guys, so you've seen the unboxing, you've seen what the box comes with. Let's waste no more time, get this box connected to the TV and carry out some performance tests. So we're going to check out the benchmark, the Wi-Fi, speed, gaming, HD streaming and 4K video playback. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I have just booted up the H96 Max and it took under 10 seconds to do this. So guys, this is the standard H96 home screen and I have to say, I have become quite fond of it. It's very simple and easy to use. As standard, we have some large icons here. We have Netflix, YouTube and the Google Play Store. And guys, we have some other common shortcuts which follow such as games, music, web browser, settings, etc. And here at the bottom, we have a plus icon, which allows us to customise and add shortcuts to our favourite apps. Here's a quick demo, guys. So let's select a few apps and check this. And all your favourite apps will appear at the bottom of the screen. 
Let me show you the system settings. Over here you will find a lot of useful options such as Wi-Fi, sound, display, storage, updates and a lot more. Guys, this box has 32 gigs of internal storage from which we have 25 gigs free to use. And if you go to About, here in front of us, you can see the system version. We are actually running the latest Android version 7.1.2 Nougat. That's right guys, I have updated this box myself to version 7.1.2. Okay guys, so we have some amazing apps on this TV box. So let's go and check these out. So as you can see in front of you, we have YouTube, Twitter, Netflix, the Google Play Store, Kodi, and much more. You can also download thousands of free games and apps from the Google Play Store. The box comes pre-installed with Kodi version 17.3 Krypton and guys you can easily update this to the latest version from the Google Play Store. This Nougat version brings us a brand new feature called Happy Cast. Guys, this is Miracast screen mirroring. It worked very well when connected to my Samsung S8 smartphone with no lag at all. I am very impressed with it. Let's waste no more time and check out how this box performs. First guys, we'll test out YouTube. As you can see, this box can stream a maximum of 1080p on YouTube. So let's stream a few samples. Now let's move on to some 4K videos from my USB drive. Okay guys, so now moving on to my favourite part, we're going to check out some gaming. We're going to play a few games and see how they perform on this box. <laughs> Now that was fun guys. And now let's perform a quick Wi-Fi speed test.
and as you can see guys the download speed is at 17.21 megabits per second and the upload speed at 9.56 megabits per second now that is quite impressive guys that is very good now the part that all you guys have been waiting for guys the Antutu benchmark test wow and this box has achieved an incredible score of 82,299 now that's the highest we've seen on my channel so far coming even closer to the likes of the nvidia shield now guys that's a massive compliment to this box for those of you who need to know the box is rooted streaming movies and tv shows is a breeze with all add-ons and movie apps working 100% I have thoroughly played and tested the 4k video capabilities and I can confirm that this box tops all others to date I am super impressed with the H96 Max its performance thanks to the advanced hardware the 4k video playback online movie streaming intense graphic gaming the very high benchmark score all speak for themselves Overall, this in my opinion is currently the ultimate Android TV box. I have used this box to its full extent, tried video playback, streaming for hours, left the box on play mode overnight, hours of gaming, online browsing, and this box excels at this. There's been no overheating, no lag, no Wi-Fi problems. In fact, this superb box is probably the only box I've had so far with no problems at all to date. The performance of the box in all aspects exceeds my expectations of a typical Android TV box. The price is well worth it. As for Nvidia Shield, I guess it will just have to sit in my spare bedroom wardrobe until I feel it is 100% the real daddy Android TV box. I'm yet to find a box which can beat the performance, quality, gaming and streaming experience all and more for under £100. If you are still unsure, do check out my comparison video to the Nvidia Shield and you'll know what I mean. I will leave the links for this box and other useful accessories in the description box below so do check them out guys that's me done for now be sure to like share subscribe and turn on that notification bell until the next one guys take care bye